Hello guys, so today we're gonna talk about hair cut and hair color for gamines and flamboyant gamines. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi Body Types playlist, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Before you watch this video, you probably want to watch this one, hair color plus hair cut and how they interact with each other. It's very important to know, talking about some basic rules because not every haircut looks good with every hair color. Kibi doesn't use pure types anymore. I still have people on my channel who still think that they are gamines. Some of the recommendations that Kibi gives for hairstyles and hair colors for these two types are a bit similar. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of gamines too, but mostly we're gonna talk about flamboyant gamines because if you're a little bit more straight here, you are more likely a flamboyant gamine. So these recommendations that he gave for flamboyant gamine should suit you. If you are a bit curvier here and there too, if you feel like you have double curve or curve, then you're most likely a soft gamine. So for soft gamines, I have a separate video. Today we're gonna discuss some flamboyant gamines previously typed. So here's what David Kibis says about about hair cut for gamins. Hair should be short and tousled, cropped upward with layering on top or around the face, temples, sides and bangs to soften a severely geometric cut. Your hairstyle is best described as boyishly chic. You might not look as good in long hair, as Kibi says, it will never work on you because it hides your gamine face. The cruelest of all sins. Another thing, severe cuts without surface feathering, heavy hair hanging in or around the face heavy bangs, smooth, well-groomed, blunt-edged cuts, overly blown dry hair, ornate hair, teased, stiff, or coiffe hair. So here's what David Kibi says about hair color for gamins. Your hair color should be rich, vivid, and distinct. Extreme color changes are possible as long as you work in conjunction with your natural coloring and don't upset the vivid contrast between hair, skin, and eyes. You can go dramatic with hair color intensities. Blue-black, deep brunette, platinum blonde, fiery red, etc. And highlights should be obvious streaks if you use them. You might not look as good in lightening your hair except for dramatic change or using subtle highlights to soften features. This will only be very tiring and matronly on you. So here's what David Kibi says about haircut for flamboyant gamins. Hair should be asymmetrically sculpted or boyishly tousled. The outline is geometric, but the edges require some layering or beveling to add freshness and avoid severity. Because your total look is so eclectic and original, you can opt for a very wild style if you so wish. Trendy styles are wonderful on you, but they do date quickly. Also, maintaining the shape with constant trips to your hairdresser is a most important factor for you. Short hair works best because you need to show your face, particularly your eyes. Boyishly chic is your ticket to sophistication. Asymmetrical dips, sweep, or side pieces are all extremely elegant on you. Long hair is very difficult to maintain. It requires a very flamboyant style, a la Tina Turner's wigs. If your lifestyle allows such an extreme look, along with the teasing, setting, and spray this requires, it can be quite stunning. If not, it will be a disaster. You might not look as good with blunt-edged symmetrical cuts, severe geometric shapes without an asymmetric edge of layered fringe to tousle, overly ornate teased curly styles, wash and wear styles with no sculpture, long hair, except as described above, overly soft styles, and anything that hides your face. So here's what David Kibi says about hair color for flamboyant gamins. Hair color should be distinct and rich, not softened. If you decide to color your hair, choose a shade that is clear and vivid. If you are very daring, a theatrical color will work on you. Blue, black, fiery red, platinum, etc. Otherwise, stick very close to your original shade. If you need to cover gray or want to make the color a little richer, opt for overall color process instead of subtle highlights. You might not look as good if you try to soften the hair with subtle lights or lightening the overall effect. Now let's look at some celebrities' examples. Rosanna Arquette. She used to be in David Kibit's celebrities list as pure gamine. Now probably he would put her more to flamboyant gamine category just because she doesn't have curve. She has quite straight line on her torso, around her chest area. Her bow structure, however, is quite delicate and quite thin. She's not that broader type of flamboyant gamine. Just for some of you who still feel like you are pure gamine. In David Kibi's older description, gamines are also straight as flamboyant gamines, but gamines were a little bit more delicate in bone structure and in facial features. A bit more sharp. Flamboyant gamines are more broadly angular. They can have some broadness around shoulders area or some pronounced musculature. However, the record 
recommendations are quite similar, if you could notice. Also, we're gonna apply this to our modern vision of aesthetics. This is Rosanna Arquette's natural hair color. I can see dark blonde, which is a bit ashy on one picture and a bit more warm on another picture. Quite soft and muted coloration, though. Then she just started coloring hair brighter, normally blonde. She always had her blonde in the range from a dark golden blonde to platinum. And I think all those blondes look great on her. Here she has this flamboyant gamine hairstyle, along with this beautiful overall hair color. You can notice that she doesn't have any stripes or highlights. She has overall hair color, which is quite bright. So she has beautiful makeup and clothes that really fits to the description. Narrow, sharp, and color blocks. And slightly fun. Later in her life, she started going for longer and straight hair. It doesn't look bad on her in my viewpoint because it looks quite thick and healthy and that bangs adds that freshness. But still, normally, this type of hairstyles, whether it's those volumized curls on the right or those straight hair on the left. They are normally looking aging on gamines, on flamboyant gamines. They do need a lot more freshness. However, as far as I love the color, I love her makeup, I think that saves the situation, so she still looks great. Now, Zoe Deschanel. I'm only taking celebrities that David Kibbe typed. I've heard several things about Zoe Deschanel, whether she said it's somewhere in interviews or somebody else said that actually her natural hair color is blonde. When I checked these pictures of her, I don't see blonde necessarily, maybe very dark ashy blonde that later turned into brown color. I didn't find many pictures of her with her natural hair color, we don't know, but then at some point she started lightening her hair. So here she has this slightly brown hair, maybe that is her natural color, I'm not sure. Then later she started lightening it even more. So that is in my viewpoint the least flattering on her. Flamboyant gamins look better with bright hair color or at least like your natural hair color but she seems to me a bit cool on coloration so anything that is warm anything that is brassy doesn't look very good on her it definitely washes her out i like hairstyle though it's very cute in my viewpoint here we have this also yellowish blonde and those stiff set curls and also that is symmetrical that also doesn't look very good on flamboyant gamines if that hairstyle was a little bit more tousled and slightly asymmetrical that probably would be better that hair style some people might say yeah it's like a lion's mane so it's great it's tousled it's huge slightly crazy should be great for flamboyant gamines in my viewpoint no it's quite set curls it's back combed hair slightly coiffe slightly too stiff looking for me still even though i can see that it's not curl by curl i would whether comb it relax it a little bit or make more bangs or just make this haircut layered more it doesn't look like layered enough so it does look like a wig and it's slightly dragging her down and it's slightly aging her i think color itself is beautiful but i still think it doesn't give her that contrast and brightness that she needs her eyes look a little bit empty with that color here she is with her sister and we can see their coloration is very similar they are very cool in temperature so for women like that any kind of a brassiness on hair is a huge no-no. In my viewpoint, she looks her best in different shades of very dark hair colors. From cool brown, which is on the right here, and I think it's absolutely beautiful on her. It's not softening her features. It's still very contrasted with her skin. It does look softer, though. And also, she had different shades of a darker brown, darker brown, and very, very black hair, which, in my viewpoint, again, looks very interesting. She looks like from a fairy tale. And also, their facial features can pull that off, that slightly artificial touch. Also, yeah, she has this long hair. It's not super tousled. It's quite wavy, but on the other hand, she always always has this slightly funky bangs. It gives her that cartoonish effect, in my viewpoint. So that does fit her and that doesn't bring her down. And in these videos, I want to cover as many different colorations as possible. So now let's talk about Penelope Cruz. She has quite dark hair naturally. I guess it's quite close to black or very dark brown. And she has dark brown eyes. She's quite bright in coloration. She had different hair colors throughout her career. Of course, many of them were for the movies. For example, here she's having that red hair. 
I can't say it's super bright, but it's quite intense. It's on a darker side. This very funny hairstyle, and I think that looks cool on her, but of course many things depend on makeup and outfit that you're wearing. I'm not sure that in real life she would go for that hairstyle. Normally her style is quite elegant and slightly glamorous in real life. Even though she has long hair, I think she looks stunning with it because she has a lot of it. Normally she has layered hairstyle. It might be when she has this quite glamorous vibe about her very glamorous flamboyant gamine. From time to time she goes for those highlights. Those highlights are normally not very contrasted, especially here. We can see some stripes on the left picture, on the right picture it's a bit softer. To me it brings slight noisiness to her look. I still prefer her own dark brown hair color. But what saves the situation here for me is darker roots. If she would have lighter roots, like Davy Kibi said, lightening the overall, this is where we have problem. Very tiring effect normally on them. But when she goes for balayage and she keeps her roots quite contrasted and bright, then her eyes are supported. Now here she is wearing platinum blonde wig on the right, on the left, I don't know, maybe she lightened her hair, maybe for a certain movie. It looks very interesting on her, but as I said before in my previous videos, that type of a hair color, it requires a very certain outfits, very certain style direction, and very certain haircut, and the styling itself. For me it's pointless to comment these two pictures, because it's just a picture. I don't know if she would go like that on the street, probably for everyday style, that's not the best thing. Probably this is why she's wearing her own hair color most of the time. But for the pictures, I mean, why not? You can create any look that you want, that you desire with any hairstyle, any hair color, any wig for the picture. This is from another movie and again, this is too far from her natural hair color. I think it cheapens her particularly. Maybe a different lady with slightly different coloration would look actually quite cool, being flamboyant can mean, but it it normally looks like a cheap glam on them. And that's my favorite, of course, that dark chocolate color, very intense, beautiful dark brown color with overall color, with those layers, maybe slightly tousled effect, different kinds of curtain banks or asymmetric siding, beautiful. Another beautiful brunette, Lucy Leo. From the beginning, I suppose she had black hair. Quite cool in undertone, in my viewpoint. Then she was experimenting with different kinds of blonde. For example, this one. Again, we can see that Davy Kibi is absolutely right when they go too far from their natural hair color and they go for overall lightening effect, especially here. In this case, this hair color to me is not golden blonde, it's closer to brassy already. Because golden blonde and brassy hair colors are a bit different. In brassiness, we can notice some even greenish or grayish tones. Some Sometimes that are not flattering for a majority of the skin tones. It's the worst hair color. If your hair is still alive and not completely killed, there's still a great chance to go away from this brassiness just to bleach it once again, not with a very high percentage of a developer for a bleach, maybe not with 6%, but maybe with 3%, and lighten them a little bit to a more yellow, and then it will be a bit easier to tone it with different kinds of beige or violet toners that will give you that, maybe not very bright blonde, but still it will be a bit more expensive and not as brassy. It will be a bit brighter. Then she went for a lighter blonde. I like this blonde much better because it's brighter just in general, and it's quite cool blonde. That should fit her, but you know, sometimes it's hard to tell unless you see person head to toe in a certain outfits, and you can see what David Kibbe said about long hair for flamboyant gamins, especially for ones that are really petite really, really small. So for their frame, that traditional long hair is dragging flamboyant gamins down. And she's wearing high heels here. So she could go for platforms, probably that would slightly help the situation, but still, you know, it just doesn't work for them. If she would cut them a little bit higher, maybe to a collarbone or slightly longer. In my viewpoint, that is a good length of long hair for flamboyant gamines. I just recently had a video, long hair for the body types, and I've talked a lot about flamboyant gamines, gamines and soft gamines. You can check this out if you haven't watched it. In my viewpoint, nothing can beat her natural beauty when she goes for those dresses and her own hair color. Even though she's having this long hair here, you can see at least color is in full harmony. Let's talk about Julia Garner. I think probably this is her natural hair color, and she's quite light. She's blonde naturally, and I think she is cool blonde. Probably any Anyone who wanted to go platinum was going through that brassy stage. So probably this is Julia's brassy stage. And again, I don't think that suits her very well because she's cool in coloration and that looks too dirty red to me. That is not even red here. If that was 
slightly reddish and more strawberry blonde, that would be a bit different. And also, as I think, her natural hair is very, very curly. So those tiny curls, it's her natural thing, which in my viewpoint is very cool. You can do so much with that type of hair. Many women, they just go with the flow with how everybody does it and they straighten their hair. I would not do that. And I think it's beautiful as it is. And it gives you so much volume. So here she has that yellow blonde, which is already better on her because it's brighter. Also overall color. On the right, she has this red hair. And I like it actually on her because she looks like a doll and every hair color that is like a doll hair color i think fits to her what would not fit is i think very calm and muted balayage here in this picture i just guess her red hair color was washing off this is kind of the stage in between and i like this hair color that looks like strawberry blonde a little bit but i still think it's too warm for her it's not her best shade in my viewpoint you can see how overall color just looks cleaner in general on this type here she has even brighter blonde it's slightly yellow but again i like it on her that again looks like a doll slightly artificial just that fact that it's going from the roots she almost looks like a wax figure to me and that is her thing every time she wants to look like natural or flamboyant natural or soft natural or classic oh they get lost in that like here in this movie she had to wear this wig so you can see how that looks slightly untidy on her the biggest problem here is long hair i just think this color is a bit too dull for her skin her skin needs support like here this is my favorite hair color on her personally i like her with this bleached white blonde that is cool in shade her skin looks porcelain white her eyes are almost transparent of course i understand that is a picture also that is lighting but in real life i also seen some pictures in real life when she's wearing that platinum blonde and i think that really fits her and she doesn't have to work hard to get this hair color because she's naturally blonde so it's easy for her to get this color anyway. And of course, Tina Turner. She was mostly wearing wigs. So we're gonna see different shades and shapes of the wigs that she was wearing. In the beginning of her career, she would wear something like this. Long hair with bangs. Of course, that was very popular at that time. Even though in this picture, you can hardly see her body. You already can see that this hair is dragging her down a little bit. Now here, beautiful hair, very beautiful wig. But those big voluminous curls would look great on soft dramatics, but not on flamboyant gamins. Again, that is dragging them down, that is making them look slightly heavy and just not for them, like separate from them. Now, this wig I actually like. Yeah, it's a bit geometric. It's a little bit blunt and symmetrical, but what I like about it is those front pieces that are made as diagonals. So those sharp triangles at the front is giving that lightness and that irregularity in the shape. And this is what's great about it. If it was more blunt by the chin, that would not be as good. And it's short. If it was longer, then it would drag her down. Here, I don't like this because this is that big rounded hairstyle that looks quite stiff on her. Again, Again, would be better for soft dramatics, but not flamboyant kemins. Here we can recognize our Tina Turner. David Kibbe said in his book, a la Tina Turner's wigs. This is what flamboyant gamins look great on. Of course, not everybody's ready for that kind of a style. For her particularly, I think that is an amazing hairstyle. On this particular picture, probably the color is a little bit too lightened overall for me. Even with that bright makeup, it's still slightly washing out her facial features. I probably would prefer something like this. She has these brighter ends and darker roots, and it's quite obvious. So that darkness of the roots is giving that contrast and is supporting the eyes. Her hair is short here. It's quite tousled. So for her particularly, that is great. All right, that's it. I hope that was interesting. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.